What's happening, YouTube? Uh, Chucky Monster here with Chucky Monster's Garage, and uh, I'm gonna do a kit review on the 62 Corvette Gasser by Rebel, and it is the Motorsports Edition 125th scale. So, uh, every, everybody that watches my channel knows that I'm doing the 38 custom uh, Ford van right now. And uh, I'm gonna do a really nice curbside out of that. I've I've I've, been, I've mentioned it in the last couple videos. So, uh, so I, I went ahead and primered that body, most of the body already in white because it's gonna go in some light colors for a base, and uh, it'll be probably be two tones. So, but uh, I'm still gonna do everything really nice, the motor and everything. But um, I am gonna glue the hood shut. So. Uh, I know that kind of sucks, but I do want a very nice curbside model and with what the kit uh, has to offer, it's just not enough for me. But it is going to make a very nice curbside kit, so let's just stick with that. I, I do need a curbside kit for, for the next show I'm going to go to. But again i need i need something like this because i've i've already used my other ones in the show last year for it so i am going to build this kit here and, and a couple other kits and I'll, I'll do a kit review on that but on those other couple of kits but uh right now i want to get to sanding this kit so i want to do a quick kit review and uh just a I'm going to try to do a kit review on everything that I start. That way, at least everybody gets to see what it's like before we start the kit. So they know what to expect if they were to buy the kit. So, uh, From what I've been told, this is a, a, a pretty pretty uh, well put together kit. Every, everybody says it goes together well that's built it, that I've read about. And if there isn't, go ahead and comment and let me know. And, and let me know if any of you guys have built this kit. I'll check it out on your channel. Um, here's the, the body here. Let's check it out. Looks like it's got wheel pins. Let's check this out here. There's a seam line right there. Gonna take a little bit of work. Got another one here. Back here. Nothing I can't deal with. I'll probably deepen these up a little bit, all the lines. That'd be the first thing I do. Here's all the chrome. We'll get to looking at that in a minute. I went ahead and took it out of the bag just because it's easier to handle and show you guys the way I'm filming this. And it'd be hard not to do that. So, got the visors and the door panels and the seats. The console there looks like the console pedals. Looks like the headlight bezels. I don't know what that is. Let's look into that. Looks like the top to one of the gauges or something there. The dash. Looks pretty good. Let's uh, go ahead and set this aside. The motor halves, the starter, brake cylinder, firewall. I like the battery, it's pretty crisp. So far, it looks pretty clean. This I do like. I like it when they're like this. Easier to detail. The hood's been cut out. And that's going to be nice. Sometimes they, they don't leave them cut out. and You have to cut them out. Because they have two ways of building. But this, this kit here, it's already cut out. And you got the roof. What is that? Radiator has looks like a roll bar, drive shaft. 
Pretty nice. I don't like the trademark and the gear on the bottom of that. And it's all over this kit. I mean, that's going to take a little bit to get it off. I'll get it off though. the glass I went ahead and cut this one open so we can see in it. The glass does look nice. Tires gives you slicks. I like that. I like those. That's nice. All rear end parts. them split like that it just makes it easier to detail looks pretty crisp and clean looks like some tail lights let's check out the chrome chrome looks to be pretty nice on this kit a lot of it too I hear the baby <laughs> Screaming, my grandkid. I will de chrome the disc and rotors. Or the, uh, yeah, I'll de chrome that. I'm not sure if I'll keep the valve covers, but I'm going to de chrome some of this. So I probably won't use them carbs. If it's gonna get dechromed for sure. See what else we got here. Headers. I'm not sure if I'm gonna make my own or redo these ones. Let's flip it over and check the wheels out. I'm not even sure if I'm gonna use the wheels. Or the exhaust. I just like my own stuff that I build, but I will keep some of the chrome. The grill looks to be pretty nice, huh? The bumpers. No, I'll keep those probably. Oh, we got scratches. I don't know about that. We will see how far that takes us. So, uh, that's the kit. So, there you go, folks. Like I said, the rest of, I just, primered the uh, the 38 and now I reprimered it in white because it's going to go here that's where part of it is because it's going to go in a in a, a lighter color so I had to redo it in white so I always primer and I stick it in my case there's a spot in my case for it and uh, there's some other parts up, up above here it's not a big deal so oh. There's Chucky. There's a gift from my my sister. But yeah, you know, that's my nickname. So, all right. Well, uh, here you go, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the kit review and update. And I will be doing two other kit reviews, but I want to get this one sanded before I do two other kit reviews. It's just to fulfill some categories I want to be in in the next show. So. Uh, we will uh, catch you guys in a couple days, and uh, have a good week, guys, and take care. All right, bye.